Hey, Pokemon fans, do you enjoy our content? If so, consider contributing to our Patreon. As little as three to five dollars a month goes a long way, and it helps us to create content for years to come. While you're here, want to know the best place to purchase all your TCG needs? Sunshine Games has everything you need at unbeatable prices. Their location in Tampa, Florida is also the friendliest place to go to shop, play, and relax. Check out sunshinegamesonline.com or come by the shop. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello, Pokemon fans. I'm Professor K. And I am N. And today we're going to be opening up some more Celebrations products. Uh, we got a Dark Sylveon box. Well, technically we have three of them. We also have Lance's Charizard V. Three of those as well. But we've already opened up all the other ones. We're going to open up just one and one so you guys can see everything that's inside of them, of course. And uh, see if we get any good pulls. So we are ready to go. Dark Sylveon. I think actually this one I may have... Uh, done a video on already if I'm not mistaken. I know we haven't opened up the Lance's Charizard yet But I am pretty sure that I have done this one at the very least So if nothing else we have done TikToks of them. So go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested. There you go Dark Sylveon V. There's Sword and Shield promo number 134. Gives you a closer look at that card Once you take that out of the plastic and you get your jumbo card as well, which are always some of my favorite things In this you also get this little uh, brochure here talking about dark Pokemon and their and their past and history in the TCG, which is always really cool to see. And then we have our packs. There is four of Celebrations, one Battle Styles, and one Darkness Ablaze. So we'll add that to our piles over here. Throw that into the recycling area. And then we'll open up this one too. So Lance's Charizard V. This was the hardest box out of all of them to find. And I'm sure you can imagine why. Because it's Charizard. But and depending on where you are in the world, they, you won't even have these boxes. You'll have them in tins instead. And actually we have not Well, it could be both too because the tins are here too. Uh, there we go. Sword and Shield Prime number 133. Um, but yeah, I, I, they actually were selling these at Walmart. Uh, the tins and the boxes, both. Here. So I thought that was kind of strange because usually they're very specific to an area like you said Yeah, that, but, that is weird. Yeah So there's the jumbo promo Looks really cool And then you have your brochure here as well talking about owner's Pokemon now We have not taken a look at this so if you'd like you can go ahead and pause and read all that I'm not gonna go over all of it, but it gives you a little background here as to the owner's Pokemon and their history in the TCG and some of the examples like, for instance, Blaine's Growlithe, right there. That. And more plastic. My recycling people absolutely love slash hate us. Plastic! Yep. All right. One of the biggest changes I noticed actually moving this area is that all of our recycling actually goes into one bin, and it's not separated out at all. That is like the weirdest thing to me, and I don't understand it, but Whatever. Oh my god, are you really talking to the kids about recycling bins? Yes, I am. Because <laughs> recycling is important after all. Or at least I would like to think that it is. We don't know what happens with it, but you know what? We do our part anyway. Alright. We know what happens to it. It gets recycled. It means it goes to a plant. It is repurposed and reused as other materials. And the cycle goes on and on and on. That's what we hope. But... In some instances, I know that's not the case. Oh well. Anyways, we got celebrations here first and foremost. We're going to open up all of those first, then we'll go over... Or maybe we'll do half and half. You know what? We're going to split it up a little bit and we'll go half and half, so... There's a Xerneas, Professor's Research, Palkia, and Groudon. Nothing too special in that one. Where is our hollow stack? Here? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize uh, that card sitting there was a hollow. It didn't look like one from here. Well, it is. I'm getting our stacks mixed up already. All right, next up. We have an unfocused Xerneas, Dialga, Flying Pikachu, and Mew EX. All right. So that's actually really cool. Haven't seen a whole lot of these just yet. I didn't know that was in the set. Yep, it sure is. It's one of the 25 classic cards in the set. There is three different Mew cards which is kind of crazy. Lots and lots of Mew representation for uh, the 25th anniversary. 
four. And yes, Lucas has definitely taken notice of his representation. Oh, absolutely. Mew is his favorite Pokemon. The shiny Mew plush that uh, Zeralion gave to him in uh, one of the more recent Mega Mailbox videos, he has not gone a single night without that shiny Mew. All right, we got Lunala, Palkia, Reshiram, and Cosmoem. Right, and you know what? I'm gonna leave this as is. Oh, oh, Lugia, Groudon, and Flying Pikachu V Max. There we go. Now we got focus. I was hoping it was the Mew. The Gold Mew and the Charizard are the two, two of the rarest pulls. Oh. All right, we got Solgaleo, Yveltal, Zekrom, and. Huh, well, that's fitting. Zekrom followed by Reshiram? That's very fitting. Huh. Also considering... Ooh, I almost pulled the cord out of the microphone there. Yep, gotta be careful because as pretty as that glitter card is, it messes with the camera like crazy. Yeah, that it does. We learned that when we pulled the Zekrom. All right. I'm just going to leave it as is again. We're going to go Ho-Oh, Lugia, Groudon, and Zamazenta. Growl of the she <clears throat> Shield. I lost my voice halfway through it. All right, we're going to take a quick break here and jump over to Battle Styles. Just to mix it up a little bit. We got a Dark Energy that fell down off the table. Good. Remoraid, Onyx, Mawile, Cherubi, Pachirisu, Karina's Focus, Carcoal, Morpeko, Bolton and Single Strike Urshifu. Nice. I feel bad for Single Strike. Yeah, you know, it did kind of get the shaft a little bit, but... Especially the Urshifu compared to Rapid Strike Urshifu. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. Alright, so that energy also went to the floor. Wow, it bounced right off the table just like the other one. Bloodbug, Pontiard, Mankey, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Level Ball, Spupa, Glyscore, Karina's Focus, something this camera right here desperately needs, and Electivire, which also fell to the floor. Man, oh man, I can't keep hold of anything right now. It's the arthritis in your hands. It happens with age. It's okay. <laughs> Let's see if this one goes to the floor. Nope, it stayed right where it was. Fire Energy, Mankey, Mawile, Horsey, Lickitung, Houndour, Luxio, what in the world, Grumpig? I forgot about the art on this card. That is super nightmare fuel. Hero, Glammy Out Reverse, and a Salazzle. Regular rare. Thing looks like it was taking one too many shroomishes. <laughs> oh boy. All right, celebrations. Going back to it here. Veltal. Cosmog, Xerneas, and Professor's Research. I smack you, by the way. What? Nebby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never actually call it Cosmog. I mean, come on, Lily's in it with him. Like, it's Nebby. All right, all right. Well, there you go. Hey, Team Magma's Groudon and a Professor's Research. Nice. All right. Next pack. Reshiram, Dialga, Palkia. Hey, we got both the legendaries. And Zacian. Would have been cool if we had uh, Zekrom in there, too. That would have been cool. Or the entire line of Cosmog. <laughs> I hate it. I know. I did that just for you. Hey, there's the Zekrom. And a Zamazenta. Two packs to go for celebrations. And then we'll close out my section with some Darkness Ablaze. Got Cosmoem, Lugia, Dark Gyarados. There's another classic card. And a Mew Hollow. Well, they're all hollow, but just a Mew. Gyarados looks like she cracked a really bad joke and didn't realize how bad it was until after he finished it. It's Datados. <laughs> he told a really bad dad joke. Hey, Kimmy, that card's old enough to be your granddad, not your dad. Listen, that card came out when I was in high school. 
Nothing else? Okay. I thought you were going to further confirm it. Like, yeah, exactly. You didn't go for it, though. I'm surprised. Because I don't play by your predictable standards. Actually, was I in high school? Now that I think about it. Wait. Let me look at this real quick. 1990... Why does it say 1998? I know this card came out after 98. Team Rocket came just, out. Just remember it, remember. Cause I cause you told me a story once. How you got that card with your friend Arceus in the third in the high school. Funny. <laughs> real, real funny. <sighs> Legender, Galarian Mr. Mime, and a Mimikyu. Alright. Two packs to go. Water Energy. We've got Beep Beep, I'm a Reap. Paris, Gothita, Skarmory, Cubchu, Kabu, Ew. Ah. Vanillish, Skitty, and Manectra. And I think we're getting a Semisir V. Oh gosh, gag me, please. Ugh. Disgusting. Nobody asked for that. I did. Especially because, you know, they, the Sinus here was voted the most hated Pokemon. Remember that? When Greninja was voted number one? Yeah, Sinus here was last. Why did, would you give it a V? This is my face when you give Sinus here v, a V. Right there. When you give Sinus here vegetables? A V. Card. An ultra rare. For any reason. Anyways. Wiggly Tough regular rare, so pretty much nothing on, uh, the regular packs kind of crazy, other than the Urshifu. I will let you take over and hopefully pull better. There's no hopefully about it. When N takes over, he always pulls better. Why are you talking in the third person? I don't know. All I know is I'm going to start with the regular packs. So we got ourselves Cherubi, a Mawile, Onyx, Remorade, Zubat, Fan of Waves, Seedra, Girder, Reverse Hollow Shameko, and a Victory Bell. Does that mean Victory Bell is challenge one? Because it's Victory Bell? I I guess so. You know they came out with a tenth episode of that like a month ago? Did they, did they continue it? Yes. Oh my gosh, I gotta watch that. It is actually very depressing. Oh, great. Well, that's what I didn't want to hear. <laughs> I mean, it's got funny parts to it, but... It, I'm headed down a dark road to begin with. Yep, it got way darker. Hey, we got a Flapple VMAX. <laughs> Flapple. All right. Those are sad there. One last battle styles. Alright, what style of victory am I gonna get here? Battle fails. Yep. Got Chameco, Hone Edge, the Horsey, Mankey, Ew, Durant, Mustard, Cheryl. We got a reverse Roly Coley and a victory bail again. One. So many victory bells, yet I don't feel victorious. <laughs> I don't like you. I want my money back. All right, so we got ourselves the Bunnelby. Ooh, a Toxel. T. Carablast. Meltan. Hiding Energy. Parasect. Toxapex. Reverse Hollow Zwilus. And a Blaziken. That's not focusing. <laughs> it doesn't like that hollow pattern. Oh, yeah, I guess not. It doesn't mind the reverse, but that pattern for some reason. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I'll be sure Professor K pays for his mistake. How is it my fault? Everything's your fault. You know that. He's totally gonna smack me upside the head after this video. And you know I'm not gonna do it during the video. <laughs> because YouTube doesn't like it. They can't see you anymore. <laughs> oh, poop. All I gotta do is go. Hey, secret rare! Let's look at the secret rare! <laughs> well, technically a secret rare. It's a rainbow rare. 
Okay, yeah, see, the camera doesn't mind rainbow rares. Nope. Makes sense, because it doesn't like the uh, confetti foil either. No, nah, it really does not like it. But confetti foil is so fun. I guess it's confetti. just... I guess it's just more for our eyes rather than the lens. And you know what? That's poetic. It Something is. for only for the eyes, not the camera. That's true. Green snarl. Hey, green snarl. All right, that takes care of those, and let's get into our celebrations, where I'm gonna pull all the nebbies. Oh my god! I want to pack with nothing but nebby. Okay, Reshiram, you're cool too. Same thing with you, Zekrom. Team Mamma's Groudon, not so much. And Professor's Research. Alright, pretty cool start though. Now in all seriousness, the Team Magma's Groudon is pretty dang cool. It is, but it seems like also one of the easier ones to pull for. It really does. Come on, camera. Try going out and back in. There you go. There we go. I got Lugia. Uh, hello. Matching legendaries. Oh shoot! Actually, yeah. They all kind of match. Yeah. They got each have gotten paired up. Paired up in the squared, Anson. Would have been better if it was Lunala, but you know what? We take it. It would have been better, yeah. Give Lunala at least a little bit of love. Please, just someone, please love my poor little Lunala. I swear, the only time Lunala seemed to got love over Sokaleos was the Prism Stars. That is true. Because, like, Lunala Prism Star was legitimately better than... Ah! There it is! Ah, it's garbage. Yeah! <laughs> That's much better. Oh, you all thought I was going to toss this. I knew you wouldn't dare. Okay, it's in a sleeve. Now we toss it. <laughs> Let me see that. I said, let me see it. Okay, yeah, I can't <laughs> focus all the way over there. No, definitely not. All right, so we got ourselves Mew Mew Mew. You, it's, it's crazy to think that it's technically possible to get three different Mew in a pack. That is true. You could get the hollow, then you could get the um, the one you just got. Yep. And then, and then you then get the, the new uh, EX. EX. Although I've only ever seen the Mew Hollow in the last spot. It's never in the first or second spot. Or even the third. What a fourth. Hey. Hey. There you go. Double hit. We got Lex Ray. So I've actually been using this guy on my team during my Brilliant Diamond playthrough. I'm liking Luxray. Me too, but Shining Pearl. Luxray's cool. It seems like everyone's team in Diamond and Pearl is always the same. Well, I mean, we're kind of limited on choices. Especially when it comes to fire. You got Infernape or Rapidash. That's it. Or Hitmore. Well, I'm talking about like in the main part of the game. Everyone be forgetting Heat more. Heat more is a very forgettable Pokemon. Wow. Sorry, but you know what? Greninja is a very forgettable Pokemon. Definitely is not. Definitely. So. Well, you know what's forgettable in Pokemon Go? Zorark. Do you know why Greninja was in the Kalos region that was based off France? Two words. Frog legs. Frog's legs. <laughs> so even though Greninja's a lot more popular over there, hey. there's a reason why. It's the best deal on the menu. Well, whatever. It's still the most popular Pokemon. Until they make a new one. I mean, that, at the same time, though, that poll was years ago. Yeah. So that may not even be true now. Well, it's the only poll that they've done recently, so... Do you know that? Have, do you keep up? I severely, yes. oops, I severely doubt you do. Every time Pokemon tweets, I get a, a notification. Hey, not fan! 
I see every tweet that Pokemon puts out. He sees everything. Alrighty, we got Lugia that either looks like it's about to break dance. Oh, come on. Yeah, it either looks like it's about to drop a beat or it's about to hold its stomach from binging on Taco Bell. We got Nebby. We got the larval fish. And we have a flying Pika Pee. Kind of funny because I had Taco Bell today, which is probably why I felt so sleepy. Yeah, Taco Bell will do that. Why do they keep toying with our emotions with the nacho fries? Can't that just be a permanent part of the menu? Hmm. Rock and Zadmin is the final Wait. card. Wait a second. Oh, oh Zernis. Okay. For a second, I thought that was either Lunala or Cosmo. All right, so that does it for all my packs there. Once again, I would say I whoop you. Oh, absolutely. I was expecting it based on my polls. <laughs> that wasn't but, good at all. Yeah, I got the Mew. It wasn't what I wanted to get, but that's okay. It's okay. There's always next time. So with that, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you know every time we post a video. Like, comment down below, and also check us out on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok. And be sure to check out sunshinegamesonline.com if you're wanting any singles for yourself. Or if you're in Florida, check out their physical store in the Tampa Bay area. And Facebook while you're at it, too. Yeah, sure, Facebook. Everything you can think of, for the most part. We're on it. So with that, hope you all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you all next time. <laughs>